Welcome back guys to another HTM Terminal video. Today I will be showing you how to embed text files into a Visual C++ application. This can be especially helpful when you have a OpenGL program and you have uncompiled GL GLSL shaders because those are stored in plain text. And what if you don't want to just have your shaders out and about? So here we're going to make an empty C++ project and make, call it demo. Wait for that to start up. And in our source files, we will add source.c++ and get IO stream so we can print to the console. And we also have to include windows.h. This is how we are going to be actually accessing the storage inside of the executable. Okay, now we're going to click on add resource and wait for it to pop up. Just give it a second and click cancel. That will generate an RC file. And you just want to delete all of the contents of the RC file and add resource.h as an include. Pretty simple. And then you'll also notice in Solution Explorer that there's a resource.h. You're going to leave all this and you're just going to append to the bottom whatever you want to add. So let's add our text file. No, not a shortcut, a text file. And uh, we'll also add a folder, call it res, put our text file in there. And let's call this demo.txt. We'll call it hello world. And there we go. There's our text file that we're going to try to access. So here we have demo text, and it'll be of type text file. So it's res demo.txt. So here's the path to our file, here's the type of it, and here's the ID of it. Now, after we've done that, we have to go into our header file and put in defines. So for text file, it can be whatever. I'll just put it to 255, and we will add a define for demo text. Put that to 254. And we have our defines for the, all of it. And all that's left now is actually writing the C++ code. So now that we have the header, we can actually include resource.h. And uh, we are going to need to get the handle of our program. So we will create a function called GCM for get current module with a return type of h module. So here we will just create a variable for h module, have it default to null, and get module handle ex and we will get module hold on get module handle ex flag from address okay now we will add an lpc LPCT STR and put in the name of our function, so whatever you decided to call it, and a pointer to our output. And then we just return it. There we go. So now we can get HR source which is how we actually get our resource. And we will find resource. This is a Windows function. And we will give it the current module handle and make int resource. Put this twice. So we are going to use demo text for the name because 
the first of these two takes the name, the other one takes the type, so ours was text file. And now we need to make an H global. We'll call it H data. And it is load resource. Spaced for a second, my bad. We will pass in the GCM again. And that H res that we got. Now we need to get the length of it. So we'll set that to a D word. And size of resource. And it takes the same parameters as the load resource. So it's really simple to just copy paste and swap out quickly. And now we're going to make a char pointer. We'll call it H final char pointer and lock resource. So we're locking the resource into memory and we will pass in the data. Okay, now we can make a S standard string and we'll call it result. And we will have result get assigned h final with h size for the size. Now, if you simply print out the result of this, wait for it to refresh and try to run it, it prints out the text. Now, let's go to res, edit this, it is updated. It updates. But if we do this without recompiling, just to prove that it's not reading from the file system, let's go to the debug build. It still says it is updated rather than without it being compiled or whatever I put. So it genuinely reading from inside the executable. And yeah, it is as simple as that to inject a text file and read from it inside of a C Visual C++ application. If anyone has any questions or comments, please put them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you happen to find this video useful. And yeah, have a good one.